ناؤ وی کم ٹو دی نیکسٹ سورہ المومنون بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحمن الرحیم دی فرسٹ سیکشن اف دی سورہ رادر ہاف اف اٹ از آلسو ون اف دی موسٹ امپورٹنٹ لیسنز اف دیٹ سلیکٹڈ کورس اف اسٹڈی اٹ گیوز اس دی فاؤنڈیشنز آن وچ دی کیریکٹر آف اے ٹرو مومن کین بی بلٹ وی ہیو ٹو بلڈ دی کیریکٹر انلیس وی ہیو دی کیریکٹر آف مومن ان وی وونٹ بی ایبل ٹو ورک فار اللہ سبحانہ و تعالیٰ وی وونٹ بی ایبل ٹو ٹو میک جہاد ان دی وے آف اللہ سبحانہ و تعالیٰ فرسٹ آف آل دی انڈیویجول کیریکٹر ہیز ٹو بی آن دیٹ پیٹرن وٹ آر دی فاؤنڈیشنز آن وچ دس بلڈنگ آف کیریکٹر آن سیرا آف اے ٹرو مومن کین بی بلٹ قد افلاح المومنون ویریلی دی بلیورس ہیو آلریڈی اٹین سلویشن ویری گڈ نیوز ہو آر دوز بلیورس اللہ دین اہم فی صلاحت ہم خاش ہو ہمبل ان دیئر پریئرس ون دے آر پریئنگ دے آر ویری ہمبل و اللہ دین اہم انی لغو مور دون اینڈ دوز ہو کیپ اوے فرام وین تھنگس یوزلیس تھنگس وٹ وی کال پیس ٹائمس وائی دس ٹائم از ویری پریشیس آئیدر یو شوڈ بی اسپینڈ سو دیٹ سم نیڈ آف دس ورلڈ از فل فلڈ نیڈ ریئل نیڈ اور دس ٹائم شوڈ بی اسپینڈ ٹو ارن سم تھنگ سم ریوارڈ فار دی ہیئر آفٹر ناٹ ٹو ویسٹ ٹو پاس ٹائم از ناٹ اے پرابلم This is the most precious capital we have. We have the only capital in this time that we have. Whatever we have can make for the hereafter is in this time. So we can't waste it in vain things. وَالَّذِينَ هُمْ لِزَّكَاتِ فَعِلُونَ And those who keep on doing zakat. Because this is the surah revealed in early Makki period. So zakat here doesn't mean the institutional zakat. That is one of the pillars of Islam. But the process of zakat. Continually giving away alms to the needy, to the poor. This is continuous process of purification of yourselves and your wealth. If you have given the due of the poor, then your, your wealth is now pure. And those who guard their private parts, their sexual urge, they control it. Except in regard to their وائفس او ما ملک تیمان ہوں اور دوز ہوم دیئر رائٹ ہینڈس پوزیس دی کون کیو بائنس اونلی ٹو ہیئر فائن نہ ہوں غیر و ملومین ان دس کیس دے آر ناٹ بلیم وردی سیکس از ناٹ این ایول ان اٹ سیلف اٹس اونلی ایول وین سم ان لائسنسڈ ان پرمیٹڈ وے یو ایڈاپٹ ادر وائز ود یور وائف with your concubines, it's okay. No blame. It's not evil. It's not bad. It's the normal requirement of nature. It's the normal requirement of society. Just as you want to preserve yourself, you want to preserve your species. And this is the way that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has prescribed. But whosoever exceeds from there, wife and concubines and then he exceeds goes somewhere else that is adultery then they are the transgressors and those who keep their trusts and covenants guard them whatever promise they have made whatever amana trust they have been trusted with something they guard them وَالَّذِينَ هُمْ عَلَىٰ صَلَوَاتِهِمْ يُحَافِظُونَ Those who guard over their prayers at proper time, with proper, you know, method, establish in congregation, offering namaz, offering salah in congregation. أُولَٰئِكَ هُمُ الْوَارِسُونَ Such people will be the inheritors. Inheritors are what? الَّذِينَ يَرِسُونَ الْفِرْدَوسِ who will inherit the gardens of paradise whom fiha khalidun and they will live in them forever forever now comes these ayat which in the first section of surah al-hajj also inna khalaqnakum min turabin summa min nutfatin summa min alaqatin summa min muzghatin mukhallaqatin wa ghayra mukhallaqatin 
this process, this embryonic process, the process of embryology. And this is the most important place in Quran for the description of these stages of evolution of a human fetus. وَلَقَدْ خَلَقْنَا الْإِنسَانَ مِنْ سُلَالَةٍ مِنْ تِينَ And we have created man out of the extract of mud. The mud is extract. Whatever we eat, where from is it coming? From the mud. So, this is the extract of the mud that is giving us power, strength, energy. ثُمَّ جَعَلْنَاهُ نُطْفَةً فِي قَرَارٍ مَكِينَ Then the next stage was we put him as a sperm drop in the safe lodging of the wall of the womb of the mother. Now it is there for some time. Summa khalaqna nutfata alaqatan. Then we create from this nutfa alaqa. Now this word had been translated till this time as a clot. But there is no basis of this translation. Alaka. Alaka is something which is muallak, hanging, muallak ho jana, hanging. Because now the next stage is that it is attached to the wall of the womb of the mother, just as a leech, hanging. This is alaka. This is the third stage. That is why, you know, these embryologists in Toronto University, and they wrote it, that these stages, as they are described in Quran, it's wonderful. You could never see, imagine that 1400 years ago when there were no microscopes, no dissections, how this description has been able. Dr. Keith L. Moore, his textbook on embryology is read all the world over and he says this. So, And then this alaqa, we create out of it a lump of flesh. فَخَلَقْنَا الْمُدْغَةَ عِزَامًا From this lump of flesh, we create bones. فَكَسَوْنَا الْعِزَامَ الْأَحْمَى And then we clothe these bones with flesh, with muscles. ثُمَّ أَنْشَانَاهُ خَلْقًا آخِرْ And then we raise him to another creation. What is this another creation? خَلْقًا آخِرْ because at this stage, the angel is sent and the ruh, the spirit that was there in the stores, in the alam amr that ruh is brought by the angel and now blown into this fetus. Now it is human being. Before that, it was a living creature, not a human being. Adam, when was created, he passed through all the stages of creation and then you all the finishing touches were given to him. Then when Allah blow, blow, blew into him from his own spirit, now he became Adam. And this process is repeated in the womb of the mother, every human child. This is a hadith from Abdullah ibn Masood radiallahu ta'ala an, muttafaqun alayhi, Bukhari, Muslim, both. The Prophet said, for 40 days, you are a sperm, nutfa. Another 40 days, you are alaqa. Another 40 days, you are Muzha. After 120 days, Allah sends, فَيُرْسَلُ malak. The angel is sent, فَيَنْفَخُ فِيهِ ruh, And he blows into the, the ruh. The ruh doesn't mean life. It was not dead matter. Already it was a living matter. Very much living. The sperm was very much living, very mobile, very active. And even the ovum that has come from the mother's side is a living thing. So every, in all these stages, for 120 days, it was not a dead thing, dead matter. It was living, but it was not human. Till such time that the angel comes and then he blows and joins that roof with it. And here Quran says, Summa anshanahu khalqan akhar. Now another creation which we have taken. Fatabarakallahu ahsanul khaliqeen. So Allah is best of the creators and blessed. Then after this, all of you will have to die. You have come in this world, but then that is to come. Then there will come a day, a day of resurrection, when you will be raised again. So this is so simple. 
if he could create you from dust, can't he create you again? The sequence, you know, itself shows there's nothing. It's just logical. Whosoever has done this up till now, he can do this also.